In digital painting, you'll often be required to imagine man-made forms. And when attempting to capture realism, attention to edge detail is incredibly important. So in this video, we're going to take a close-up look at man-made edges, as well as how to render them in Photoshop. I've also prepared a template for you, so give this whole lesson a try with the download link at the bottom of the post. But as a quick reminder, if you look below the post, you'll find links for free brushes and worksheets, as well as in-depth premium series available in the Control Paint Store. So if you were to envision a set of dice, they'd just be simple, six-sided forms, right? Well, let's zoom into this SketchUp file and take a closer look. This is what you might have envisioned. Six-sided forms that come to very sharp edges. Well, the fact is, this is pretty unheard of in real life. As I move down the line, the other two examples are much more realistic. This has a soft bevel. And this one has sort of a crown molding detailing on it. So if you took a quick look at the objects on your desk right now, you'd notice that lots of right angles are present, but that if you look really closely, what you might have described as a right angle are actually made up of soft bevels and chamfered edges. And when you're inventing objects for your illustration, these tiny details do make a difference because those sharp razor edges, as seen in the first one, really don't exist in real life. So to investigate a variety of different edge types, I made a simple object in SketchUp, and then using different chamfers and bevels, got some different results. And here you can look at the different profiles represent a side view of the image. And since this is in Photoshop, I actually made myself a little coloring book just to test out these different transitions. So all the layers that I'm working on are inside a layer set that has a mask, which stops me from painting outside of the lines. So I can only paint in this white area. And using any brush I choose, I'm going to simply try and recreate those edge transitions from the bottom examples. And I can even go ahead and use the color picker to sample my colors, because all I'm focusing on is the specific type of transition. Is it a sharp chamfered edge, like these middle ones? Or does it have more of a smooth fall off, like these bevels? So here I've gone ahead and made myself some color swatches and I made a fresh layer below them so I can draw with the hard round brush. You can see where that mask is really helping me stay inside the lines. Now the critical part here is this chamfer. So I'm going to make a polygon lasso to really select those edges carefully and then paint that high value in there. And this is the most perpendicular to the light, so it's going to be the highest value. And then I'll go ahead and finish up the rest. So I'm matching the same values from the example. And one more time, I'll get this hard edge polygon lasso out just to do the sharp edge where it catches the light. I'm going to leave the other four examples incomplete for now and encourage you guys to download this template and give it a try yourself. Now this may seem like a silly exercise, but it again is putting one aspect of drawing under the microscope and just working on that. And then next time you go and make an illustration, when it comes time to make an edge on a man-made object, you might think about these profiles. Is it a hard chamfer or is it a soft bevel? And then you'll shade the image accordingly.